services and today we're uh, Joseph and Dylan with Rubel Home Inspection have stopped by and they're going to tell us about termites, carpenter bees, carpenter ants, and powder post beetles. Yes. So Dylan? What's the story? So <laughs> termites are a wood destroying insect um, that normally around this area they emit from the ground. Um, mm -hmm. They come from the ground um, unlike ones from the west. Uh, these are subterranean termites that we have in the area here. Um, they feed on decayed wood, um, anything. It, I say decayed wood, they can eat on any wood. They mm -hmm. just prefer decayed wood um, just because it's a lot easier for them to digest. Um, crawl spaces, um, mulch beds, um, certain things like that. That's what we're looking for, some sheds. Um, anywhere that wood is laying on the ground or there's any way for them to get to the wood, mm -hmm. that's whenever they're going to be uh, back there. Yeah. <laughs> So they're active around that kind of stuff. That's why we make a big emphasis to get in the crawl spaces because they tend to like that area. Yeah, yeah. It's dark and moist. Sure. And termites are, they're by their nature, they're soft-sided insects. Okay. So they were the first creature with air conditioning. They had to have their tunnels 95% humidity. So you can always, so that's why they come back. And that's what, when you do a termite inspection or the wood destroying them, that's what you're looking for is that tube because that tube is a telltale sign. Yeah, and I've seen that in homes where that it almost looks like a mud tube. Yes, that's exactly uh, what's come up, Even come up the the, the uh, block or a, a poured wall. Yes. And get right, go right to the floor joists. Now termites. The next one would be flying ants, carpenter ants. So carpenter ants, unlike termites, um, they have two different size wings. So a termite will have the same size wings on both sides. Uh, carpenter ant will have two different size wings. Um, they, unlike termites, they don't digest the wood. Um, they merely just burrow into it just to create a nest. Um, so that's where a lot of um, the difference is with the um, ants. That and they have uh, three body segments rather than just the one through termites. Mm -hmm. um, termites tend to be white. Um, they, I think there are, or there's some type of ants that are white. Okay, I'm, I'm the like, reproductives are all brown. Gotcha. The workers, okay. of the termites, are white. look like white ants, is what we would call them. Okay. And then the other one would be the antennas. Mm -hmm. The antennas on termites are straight, where antennas on ants are bent. Okay. So those three things are the easiest way to differentiate that. Yeah. Carpenter ants, um, like if they say, they hollow out the wood. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as they hollow out the wood, those we call it frass. It kind of just goes out, and you always see. You can tell if there's carpenter ants because there'll be insect parts okay. in it. And if we get up where they're severe, you can have a, like an ant hill, mm -hmm. a pile of frass at the bottom where they clean out their tunnels. They're great housekeepers, right? <laughs> but they leave all their trash right by the front door. <laughs> and you want to talk about, uh, what do you have there, powder post beetles? Powder post beetles. So if you look at this cool. piece of wood right here, yeah. um, you can see like the little holes um, that are inside the wood itself. Um, these, this is normally what we see whenever we, we see powder post beetles, that and then they'll have frass that's around it, like he had said. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same concept as the uh, Carpenter ant, where you'll have the frass on the outside. This is normally seen in older homes, just because whenever they put the wood in the house, they didn't know that there was an infestation. Mm -hmm. um, so once it's in the crawl space basement area, they never knew that they were there um, right. until they start. You start seeing that frass. You start seeing where the wood's damaged. Um, so it's kind of a little too late um, by the time that they figure out that it's there. Yeah. Um, but newer homes, they treat the wood um, before they put it in. So it kind of keeps them from uh, infesting the wood before yeah. they put it in. Yeah. So that's powder post. The last one would be the carpenter bees. Okay. Those are the bumblebees that yeah. kind of look. And they make a perfectly half inch round hole, which is very hard to tell. It looks just like a knot hole. Um, in the spring, then the females will they'll hollow out the nest, or make a nest, and then lay lay the eggs. And the male is the one that 
he'll sit right there in front of your face and mm -hmm. he's protecting the nest and the grounds. Okay. So he'll sit right there in front and buzz right in front of you yes, to try and scare you away. Yeah, especially in decks. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And like you like, said, it's just a perfect round, perfect hole. Yes, and they yeah. mainly they like soft woods. So your pine, your cedar, your redwood, those are easier to attack. So like wood fascia boards, um, mm -hmm. on decks, anything that there's a lot of area for them to create a nest. Um, that's kind of the biggest places that we see them. Sheds, um, sheds normally get torn up pretty bad, especially if they're out in the woods. Because right. then it's not seen a whole lot and you don't really know that they're doing it. And then by the time that there's they're in there, you don't really know. Um, they don't do that much damage. What most of the damage is, is whenever the woodpeckers come in to try to get their eggs. Okay. Um, that's whenever they just completely tear it all up. Yeah. So that's why you try to get them out before the woodpeckers can figure out that they've got eggs okay. inside there. Okay. So with all four kinds, everything's treatable, right? Yes. I mean, yes, there's, we can get with, rid of them. With termites, there's two types of houses in this area. Those that have termites and termite damage, and those that will have termites and termite damage. Um, there's a great product that we're not pested companies that treat for it, but I believe they use, Termidor is the most popular used product, mm -hmm. and it's a contact agent. What that means is the termites go through it. Um, termites are very neat because they're kind. They groom each other and feed each other, and groom each other and feed each other. Eventually, that tainted food product makes it back to the queen. Okay. In about two months, then they'll die. Yeah. So with termites and powder post beetles, they actually eat the wood. The carpenter bees and carpenter ants, they hollow out the wood. Okay. So there's different products <clears throat> that they use to um, take care of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, I appreciate you coming in, stopping in with us, and talking to us about that. Folks, if you got any questions, please give these guys a call, uh, Ruble Home Inspection, and when you're looking for uh, in your next new home, I, please give me a call at Ward Realty Services. My number is 502-396-4969, and your guys are? 812-945-7000. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day.